Hello, um, today I'm going to show a quick introduction to GoDB Ledger and also how to get started. So I've got the main page of our website in front of me. If we go to our GitHub page from here, you can see the version 0.3 release. Here is the file you want to be using and installing. And I've got a quick guide on the wiki of the GitHub on how to do all this. But essentially, all we're doing is we're going to the releases page, copying the link, and then from here, we just get it. And that'll download it from GitHub. We have to untar it. So once it's done, it's downloaded. We can see it's downloaded here. So we go tar xbzf. And then you just find the one that actually is, which is going to be the same. So that's going to unzip three files, three executables the actual GoDB Ledger server, the client to talk to it, and the reporter which can be used to show the trial balances and stuff. So now we've got a folder on our home folder called GoDB Ledger Linux. Um, for ease, I end up just linking it, symbolically limping it to uh, GoDB Ledger itself. And that gives us GoDB Ledger as a file we can just go into. So we go into there and we're ready to go. The first thing you do is init. So when we're in here, and all that does is it creates the configuration file. So we go back. We can go into the, the config folder, which is dot ledger. And you can see it's created this is config here. In it is not very much at all. It's just saying where the directories are and what database we're using. Uh, and then we're good to go. So we're going to go to the ledger again. Or we just say go db ledger and that's it um and when it first starts up it'll structure the database that we're using but you can see it's now listening on this port and we can talk to it so we have to leave this running in the background um the ideal situation is to have a service that's running that but now that we've got it just going as quickly as we can we'll just leave it running in a terminal. So the next thing we want to do is we want to talk to it and send some transactions there. And we do that with ledger CLI. And then the first one we should experiment with is the journal command line. So this gives us just a quick wizard to make a journal entry. So we go 2020 dash O 7-01, that's the date. Example journal, test line description, and we enter our, enter our account. So I'm just gonna say cash. And I'm gonna say we have received 10,000 in cash. This only takes an integer right now. Um, it's an integer for the cents amount. So this would be $100. And I do want more items. And then we do income. Uh, income line. And then we have to do a negative for a credit. So 10, dit, dit, dit. And no, I don't want more items. And it sends a transaction. And if we go over here to the, the actual server running, you can see now that it's been sent over there. It's been entered into it. 
now that it's been sent, we should be able to view it. So we can go reporter. There are two main commands in the reporter and all they're doing is they're running an SQL query over the database. Reporter trial balance shows us what the trial balance is. And you can see the cash and the income are there in their debits and credits. The other command the reporter has right now is transactions. And that'll give us our transaction that we made and it's essentially just a general ledger. Now, these are really just SQL queries. Uh, yes, there's a reporter executable here that's commanding them, but they're really the same as just going in and exploring the database and running slightly complicated, not even that complicated command in SQL to get these. Um, and that's why they're so simply formatted right now. Um, there are some options to export to CSV and stuff as well. But I think this gives a good example of how to get started with it and how to just open it up and get the server running in the background and talk to it.